American University in Bulgaria. Thank you. You hear me, yes? Fat people always prefer to walk when they speak. <laughs> Plus, you should know that 60, according to the research, 60% of people remember the gesticulation of the speakers. You know, three days after the speech, 30% remember the voice and tonality. Only 8% actually remember what was said, so <laughs> you definitely remember me. How many of you are from the Balkan countries? Macedonia, well, okay. <laughs> so I have an easy task tonight because I have to present somebody who produced something which is very famous in most of the Balkan countries, even among your generation, I yeah. guess. That's Skopje beer. It's a Skopsko pivo, which is a very famous beer, especially in next Yugoslavia. I'm not sure about Albania. I know that my friends in Bulgaria love it. And they're now even more getting into love in the Macedonian wines, but we'll come to that. I know this gentleman, Svetor Zaryanovsky, for almost 30 years. Uh, I'm a bit younger than he is, but he's a young person, as you can see. <laughs> and we are having our debates and quarrels and even more agreements for the last 30 years. We discuss everything from economy to politics to social life and everything. Democracy. Democracy especially. <laughs> well, to get back to the democracy, I was a very young journalist in the mid 80s. I started my career at the beginning of the 80s. And then I was made to go to make an interview with the, with the director, with the manager of the Skopje's Brewery. In 1985, Svetor Zarianovsky was elected, that was the days of socialism, as the director of Skopje Brewery. Now, he stayed there in the next 20 years. The brewery I got to know in 1985, and the brewery which actually then grew in the 90s, in the 2000s, it was like comparing, uh, you know, a small factory with a giant. Uh, the brewery was, became not only famous by its brand in the Balkans, but it uh, grew several times its economic size. It became one of the most profitable profitable uh, things in, 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 in the region, actually, as a matter of fact, in producing beer. And you know that the beer, the economic price of the beer is in the circle of several hundreds of kilometers, because then transport reflects on the price. So the competition of the beer is always, that's why beers are mostly local things, you know, except in the case of Amstels and Heineken. It's a different logic. Then Svetu Zaryanovsky sold his, um, he, in the meantime, he became also uh, proprietor of the franchise of Coca-Cola, of Heineken from Macedonia, and he, he was developing all these brands because, as you can imagine, Coca-Cola is a huge list of brands. It's not only Coca-Cola itself, but it's everything else which comes with the brand. So the whole, he became actually, if I'm not wrong, one of the most successful brand franchise in probably in Europe, if I'm not wrong, but it was a huge success. Wisely enough, he sold that business in 2010, if I'm not wrong. Oh, 1988. 1988, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that was just the time when no, politics Kate started. Rido, Kate Rido was uh, 2010. Okay, it's, uh, so, yeah, he, he, he sold the 98, but he stayed there in the next several years to manage the, the whole business. That was the time when politics started to be very much interested to be involved in, you know, pre-keeping business people, pressing them, take some free beer, you know, free of charge, and so on. And so on. In 2003, he acquired the uh, the biggest winery in the region, there's a Tikvesh winery, uh, which is located in central Macedonia. The winery produces something like 30 million, 30 to 50 oh, million. Capacity was of 50 million. 50 million. Liters per year. We are selling uh, in one year 80 million. So it was a huge, huge winery in a very rich region for producing wine. Uh, and of course, then the whole efforts were uh, invested into developing of uh, Macedonian wine industry, which was already a kind of uh, developed to a certain extent, but with new times, with modern technologies, with you know marketing tools and so on and so forth, things that Svetoz I will tonight discuss with you great details. The Tikvesh winery actually became even bigger brand than it, than it used to be. Uh, but Mr. Yanevsky is not famous only because of his economic and business deals and so on and so forth. 
He is cuisine. He is restaurant in the in the brewery and then in the winery. He has one of the best cooks in Skopje, chefs. His chef is a perfect guy who can prepare food which you can cannot imagine. I mean, maybe here in La you can find you know, a couple of restaurants. But that became a place where people were coming and debating things. You know, he would call us, you know, five, ten people discuss, I don't know, this economic issue, that political issue, democracy, and so on and so forth. So he actually became a, a focal point for various kind of debates which are very important in, in you. This must be mindful. It's, no, it's not mine. So, <laughs> so these things are very important when you're trying to build democracies. We were all trying and we're still actually trying to build in our countries in our region. Sveto Zarjanovski is one of the most influential business people in the region. He is a member, he used to be a member of all these, uh, you know, economic uh, business advisory boards, initiative, international initiatives, which were coming from Brussels, from Washington, from various other capitals, which were dedicated on how to make a Balkan as a more tolerant place, a place where cooperation would, would, be, would be actually the rule of the day. So Sveto Zar was involved in all these initiatives, and that added on his profile even this touch of international, if I may say so, international glamour and, and actually influence, if, if I can say so. So, ladies and gentlemen, dear colleagues, I'm, I'm happily giving you and presenting you Mr. Sveto Zarjanovsky, who is going to have something around 45, 50 minutes of presentation, and then he will be more than happy to answer a lot of your questions that I'm sure that you will have to, to, to ask him and pose him. Please. Thank, you. Thank you, Sasha. First of all, uh, um, dear student, professor, deans, president, thank you for your very, very warm welcome. You know, I'm not expecting, usually I'm working these things, you know, working with young people, students, with my colleagues, with Dimitar and uh, Zoran, you know, because uh, many years ago we realized, you know, uh, that the main investment, what we like to do, it's humans, you know, investing in humans. We are manipulator and using humans, you know, we manipulate with uh, humans, taking more ability from them. But Sasha was talking about uh, something. He, he, he said something, <laughs> what we are doing in a different thing. Uh, we were, you know, he's still there, and I'm trying to keep myself. I told to, to your professor I'm in some Zen position right now, looking inside me and to see very quiet everything, what is going on in the region. Because in the first stage, I was. Uh, I can say in this period when we start changes everything in the company, we were very arrogant, you know, full with energy. I came in brewery like you are, you know, with long hair, you know, some guy from hippie guy, you know, with <laughs> with sandals and you know, coming there. It's not my place, you know, but it's company, factory. It's almost bankruptcy company, you know. It's uh, it was. Um, when we changed everything in 1997, one friend of mine, right now is a friend of mine, he didn't know me and he didn't know the company and uh, he was asked somewhere in some crossroad in Frankfurt where he's going and he said, I'm going to visit another socialist crap. And, <laughs> and because the, the other guy was, know that, that the situation, he said, just give me a call afterwards. And that was a story. They, they, uh, the guy was from uh, Heineken, and afterwards they, they, they decided to cooperate, and uh, <coughs> we start working together. But anyway, you know, changes, still of life. You know, you have to change yourself every day, every moment, every, 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 every second you have to change. And, uh, uh, Company where, where, where I start, I started to work in a brewery in somewhere in '76. The brewery was almost bankruptcy. I step in a, a company on position of CEO in '86. Sasha said '85. It's a year later. I know 
8th of April, 86. And they stay almost 20 years. You know, in socialist company, it's not possible to stay four years, not 20 years. But nevertheless, we were young guys ready to, to, to work and to change. Brewery was an excellent company, you know, excellent. Beer business is excellent all the time. It's linked with a lot of cash flow, a lot of profit. It's a challenge, you know, and just, uh, but um, uh, it's too late. Right now we are, we are making some uh, mem memorability about socialism and uh, it's too late to, 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 to give you experience. But this is experience about uh, to have a courage to change. And that time, uh, you know, by your father and mother, you know, that the, the system was a trade union was a very strong touching workers, kicking out workers, changing something, usually was going through the party, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, fortunately, wind of changes, you know, the wind of changes of, uh, uh, I think it, it was uh, 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 wind of changes from, uh, you read? The scorpions. Mm, scorpions, I told you, scorpions, you know, they disappear, but uh, you know still the music of wind of changes. And wind of changes started somewhere 1888. Until 1888, uh, 1988, I realized what is going in the company, you know, relationship. We were spoiling a lot of, um, uh, 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 spreading a, a lot of negative energy against each other. And uh, I was thinking how to open this circle, you know. You are, you are using vectors and you know the vectors. You know, you have vectors in opposite direction, they're killing each other, you know. It's a zero result. And we, we open the circle and we just uh, make, uh, give direction to, to uh, in one way. And brewery from uh, almost lost making company, we, we went in next stage, it was different situation. What we did in that time, in 89, in 89 when uh, we launched uh, uh, that we are going to reorganize company, in that time was uh, the last uh, prime minister in former Yugoslavia, besides we, we dissolve Yugoslavia, and they launch uh, a law for privatization and changes in the company. And immediately we were one of the first in former Yugoslavia in, uh, in that uh, market, but we start thinking about how to change. In brewery we have a lot of problem, you know, cash flow problem, profitability problem, uh, Unhappy workers, you know, everybody was doing something and uh, stealing, destroying, wasting, but everybody was unhappy. And we start going slowly, step by step. The first stage was, I'm, uh, uh, Dimitar is going to just to change everything and uh, I'm not following because this is my story in 20 years, you know, repeating in my, my memory all the time what we did it, you know how to change everything. And uh, we have, um, uh, the, the main problem for us was uh, how to work and how to negotiate with drivers. We have a lot of drivers, 120, 130. And I was reading some, uh, sometimes I'm reading some books, you know, all the time reading books. And I find out that uh, it was a case in Holland in uh, somewhere in 50s that uh, company, transportation company, they had a lot of problem with drivers they wasted and the cost was very high and they change. Instead of central system, they lease the trucks and they find out immediately this solution. We, we link this, uh, this model for, for, for uh, changes in, in, in this area. But easy to say, you know, right now it's very easy to say, okay, we will uh, lease the truck and uh, give to the drivers and drivers will make uh, general contract, long-term long contract with, uh, with the company, and everybody will Skype. But you have to negotiate. This is different type of subject. This is different individual. Because the subject and drivers, if you know the drivers, uh, for a trade union, when you are negotiating, and tomorrow you, you have to know it's um, 
three different profession very problematic for, for negotiation in this area. This is a driver, uh, print workers, print workers, printer. You know, they are reading, they are, you know, collecting uh, the letters, they are reading everything, but they understand, but not, e not everything, you know. They know something, but not everything. And uh, uh, in socialism, we have uh, uh, metal workers. And it's a mess how to negotiate. When we start step by step, choosing the group, different group, uh, we face, at least after one year, we face the, 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 the problem. One month, we have a, a strike beside the door, and we, we were uh, trying to, to, to sit together to, to negotiate and refusing and destroying the system. And at least they accept everything, but past time, you know? And for me, it's, right now, it's, I'm passing without without any emotion about it, but it was a difficult time. The second part was uh, um, uh, we usually distribution company and uh, uh, breweries and Coca-Cola, we have a system of distribution through depot. You know, we are expecting in future that uh, all of this country we will be depot because Germany system was uh, uh, something like uh, 40 um, Coca-Cola plant in in end of uh, 80s. Right now they have six or seven for 80 million. But means that the region one day should be the same distributive system. Uh, we will have some, some mega plant somewhere and uh, they, this is the destiny of uh, cutting cost in, in company. But anyway, we have 10 depot in, uh, in, in, in the company, and uh, uh, the, uh, the people in uh, this depot, they, they were responsible for selling, but not responsible for receivable. And we have a lot of problem with receivable. Nobody care for receivable. And I was uh, eating uh, so, much, so many lunches all around Macedonia going in. Delcevo, going in Kochani, going in this and this. Three time, tri times per day was a lunch, evening dinner, etc. Et As I said, I'm fed up. You know, I'm too young to have so many lunches and uh, negotiate with people to, to give me uh, money. You know, we sell the product and we're asking for money. And we just transfer our responsibility. We, we decentralize system and we said, okay, organize founding company. And you will be responsible for the market. You will go to, 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 to the market. Uh, you're responsible for, for everything that you're doing. Today, from this 10 uh, uh, distri uh, distributive center, we have uh, uh, excellent 10 entrepreneurs. Uh, one of the, uh, most of them, they are wealthy people. When I'm saying wealthy people, they have different businesses. They are, in different area, one of uh, uh, this distributor right now is in hotel business, in con construction, etc. So measuring, it's a collecting high level of uh, wealthiness in, in the country. But that, that were that were the first step of uh, building entrepreneurship in, in in the country. And the third step was uh, most painful: how to squeeze. We were on the level of 900 people. We squeeze until 420. Well, you know, drivers, uh, uh, distribution center, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And at least we start negotiating with internal workers, and we didn't give to anybody. Just uh, go out from from the company. We negotiate. We we were agree for everything, and afterwards. We conclude, and we we didn't have any any problems. And uh, brewery passed smoothly, and we were uh, example in former Yugoslavia. In former Yugoslavia, we were example for for uh, uh, restructuring company for uh, coming out from uh, from the problems. And uh, afterwards, we went in privatization. We took over company like uh, management buyout. And uh, running afterwards, uh, we went in uh, uh, 
The second level was a negotiation with uh, Heineken and Coca-Cola. We stepped back in uh, 2005, and in 2010, we said, get rid of everything, we finish with everything, we don't have any, any communication. We have communication, we have friendship, and et cetera, et cetera, with people in Coca-Cola <coughs> and Heineken, but we are not in uh, ownership structure. But in meantime, in meantime, we start uh, working in investment, uh, making investment all, all around. And uh, right now we have McDonald's for Macedonia, McDonald's for Bulgaria. We have 51% in uh, Bulgaria McDonald's. And we have some hotels, some real estate and other things. And the main challenge for all of us was the uh, winery. And, the was winery was a 2003. If you know Macedonia, we have some of you, you are born in Macedonia, but Bulgarian, they are close to, to, to Macedonia and Tikves. Uh, older, they know Tikves, like uh, the oldest region for, for production of wine. You have here in Trakia, some region of, uh, uh, in Asia time, in Roman time. Uh, trading with, with wine for Roman, and uh, Tikvesh is the, one of the main region for trading wine in, in, uh, in that time, in, in Anshia time. And Macedonian usually they, they, they claim, you know, they said, you have wine producer, we have Macedonian, you know, wine, and et cetera, et cetera. But wine was, uh, I cannot say, uh, usually I was fighting with my colleagues and my friend in Kavadarci, you know, they said, ah, you are snob, you are arrogant, you are not drinking our wine. I said, I'm drinking your wine, but afterwards I have a problem. What kind of problem? First of all, I'm snoring, you know, <laughs> and I have a problem with my wife, you know, snoring, you know. What is a snoring? Snoring is uh, when you, you have uh, highly sulfur in, in, in wine and oxidized wine, they are, they are making snoring. You know, it's a normal for drinking three, four glasses, it's just snoring. <laughs> the second was, um, I said, no, no, no. It's, it's too early for headache. <laughs> headache is coming later on. I have to step up during the night Minimum once or two times, I have acidity in my stomach. You know, have a problematic wine. They are making some reaction in your stomach. You have acidity. And thirdly, tomorrow morning, your eyes is like this. You know, if you don't have it, you are not wearing glasses. Your eyes will go out. You know, because <laughs> you know, this is headache and big head. And I said, this is my problem. I don't know to change my head or to change something in winery. In 2003, it was a lot of frustration about this winery. The winery was, a, if I say, big winery. You know, most of them, usually in socialism, we were uh, building everything big, you know, 50,000, 100,000. And we came uh, in winery, we take over. It was a, a lot of frustration in the country, but. When we came with something we know, but the arrogance is not allowing you to, to accept. You know, it's something new, it's a new product. Everything is the same, market is the same, customer, consumer, everything is the same. Marketing, product, everything you know, this is experience. But, you know, it's something is different, you know, and we went in trouble, it, it was uh, so many, uh, strikes all around us, not inside, from outside. Grape grower, give me the price, buy the grape, etc., etc. But anyway, it was, uh, you know, uh, when we are checking uh, how to change uh, industry, especially uh, in wine industry, we find out it's a minimum 10 years. And this year is a uh, the last 10th year. Fortunately, last two, three years, we don't have problem. And Tikves was a, in similar, many similarities with, uh, with brewer, brewery. And the <coughs> problem was um, no product, no brand, 
nobody was care for quality. The mainly in a winery was uh, winery was uh, linked selling uh, bulk wine. Uh, the history for us, for Bulgaria, Macedonia, and uh, other country in, in the region was uh, almost same. Moldavia is the, uh, still in, uh, on that level, selling bulk wine, you know. And perception from outside in Europe is uh, that we are producing good quality wine for low price, you know. And it's good wine, but and we said it's no no chance for, for surviving, you know. We have to be on the top or we will die. And we get rid of, from 50,000 tons, we went out down, we squeeze production on the, right now we are on the level 12, 13,000 tons per year. And changing everything, you know, in, uh, in, uh, in uh, company is not only changing, you know, we will cut, we will increase, we will, uh, improve our stock, uh, cutting stock. Uh, today, with Veneta, we were talking about for, for a fixed cost, you know. How to squeeze fixed cost in winery. You know, in winery, you have uh, uh, vintage, one vintage for white wine is uh, keeping stock uh, minimum. Uh, minimum is uh, eight to 12 months. For red wine, is a minimum is uh, two years, you know. And, how to how to manage everything? You know how to manage credit relation with um, grape growers to tell them you know sorry, you know you are producing grape but I'm not selling immediately my product. We have to find a way. You know if we escape from poverty, you will escape. We will escape together. And this is a long process of uh, of uh, negotiation. He said. The secondly, how to explain people, you know, to change people, because people, they, they, they realize that uh, they will pass smoothly. They, they, they are excellent people, you know. All of my friends, I came in, uh, in Vinery, one, uh, one of them, and usually I'm repeating this story, and uh, I came to him, he was uh, uh, older in, in, in Vinery, he was a technical manager from uh, 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 in time being, when I was, I was technical manager in, in the brewery, and we were colleagues, and uh, I, I asked him, Lazo, the name is, uh, of this guy is Lazo, and I asked him, what is the best selling product in, in, in the winery? And he said, Tramina. And what kind of quantity we have? If you say 100, we will have 100. I said, this is not harmonic to extend. Yeah, yeah, don't worry. We learn to extend. I said, forget this story. Next year was uh, forgetting the story, and we said, the first stage, and we went in traditional value. And all the time repeating to Demeter, we are claiming and like a Catholics in traditional value. <laughs> Culture of traditional value, you know, <laughs> discipline, punctuality, believeness, loyalty, ethics. Even if we are not doing that, nobody will believe you. Right now, you know, if you are going on the market, you will understand. And you are, uh, on some way, you are slave and you believe in, in, in product. Why you are believing in product? Why you are believing? marketing or something, you are believing in product. And we built for, especially for a small country like we are, Bulgaria, Macedonia, we like to be proud and be linked with product. In previous time, uh, the first product, known product was, uh, Sasha said, Skopska. And everybody loves Skopska. And uh, the advertising about Skopska was, uh, Sakam Skopsko. You know, I, I like Skopsko. I like Skopsko. But I like his uh, a different meaning. And uh, in Sakam, in Macedonian language, is everything. You know, I love my wife. I love my children. I like, I, I love uh, product and something. It, you know, universal meaning. You know, I, and everybody, uh, Sakam Skopska, it was uh, advertising. But right now it's a different story. Especially young people like you are, and yappy people like you are, they are linked with this product. 
Because this pre product went in uh, outside of the border. The first time some product from Southeast Europe reached 94 by Parker. And this is excellent, you know. We are passing the, 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 the border. This is a region because, you know, when I said Macedonia, what means Macedonia? Macedonia is a 24,000 kilometer, square kilometer. Total region, total region, we have something like, uh, together with Bulgaria and some other countries, is a 400 square kilometers. And total region of Bordeaux is uh, 600 kilometers. Thousand. Thousand, thousand, sorry. Thousand kilometers. What means, what means wine region? Bordeaux is a 600,000 kilometers and we are 400,000. And when you're looking, everybody has different heritage. Bulgarian, Macedonian, it's a small, bit. yes, we are super region, but tomorrow we will build new region, you know, Balkan region. And uh, Englishmen, for the first time, they, they, they announce and they promote the region. Yes, it's coming from Macedonia, it's coming from Bulgaria, but this is the region. And, you know, where we are right now with uh, Tikvesh, uh, changes uh, and all the time changes what we are changing, you know, we try to change people, you know. And all the time what I was working, working with people, young people. Working in brewery, I told to your professor and president, you know, who promotes Sheffield in, in the country? We, we are promoting Sheffield in the country. We send 50 people from MBA. We give grant, we send them for education because uh, uh, my role in, in the company to manipulate and to take more ability from people. It's not like that, you know, because I'm linked uh, in another part, Sasha was, give me the hand and majority, majority, majority is coming from the region. This is not principle of democracy. This is majority for winning in government, but democracy is uh, covering everything. You know, we are fighting about democracy and we try to change something in, uh, in the region together with, uh, with Sasha. We are stubborn and usually we are facing problem. And the, today I realize another guy Nice guy, like Misha Glenny. Misha was, uh, and he was a participate, and he was usually with us to change something in the region. And other, Ivan Krastev, and Ivan Krastev escaped from from Bulgaria. He went in, unfortunately, in, in Vienna, keeping eyes on on the region. I I like to. I'm not giving lecture. You know, I'm just uh, um, energize people and working with young people, give them a, a possibility to find themselves, to, to promote. Uh, I am passing right now in, uh, in Tikvesh. I have uh, one of the youngest uh, employees when uh, he came in, uh, in brewery. He was uh, 22. He finished uh, economy. And he was a young guy. I put him in finance, working in finance, learning finance. Afterwards, he was in marketing, in sales, and right now he is running Tikvesh. And usually, usually we 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 are looking in, in in this area, supporting and fighting excellent people for 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 changes. And uh, when uh, in recruitment, when we are looking and asking and employing. Uh, in employment, we're asking for people who likes to be general. You know, usually simple people, modest people, you know, people who likes to stay and, you know, passing, passing by. Just um, is a story about uh, shell, uh, shell building. You know, in shell building, uh, until somewhere end of 90s. Shell building was a story about uh, a stable system in London. And uh, when you're stepping in, in the first year, in uh, 40 years time, you will reach 40 floors. And one day came one German guy from Switzerland, 
20 floors, but they were switch of the light. <laughs> he kicked half of the company outside of uh, th this building. But we are not doing that. Uh, usually, uh, the, the worst thing is uh, just to uh, make people insecure. And uh, we are working with people, giving them uh, not only chance to, 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 to uh, build a career, but just to support them to, to do what they like to do. And we are giving opportunities. And most of these things, I was uh, maybe uh, giving some small direction. Everything is done by our people in the company. Uh, vision, yes. When we, we are trying to, to, to find what is our vision, you know, what is our vision? Where should we go? You know, we have to be, we have to be a uh -huh, regional player. What is the regional player? To stay at home, to, to stay in some safe place. No, no, no. We have to be on the top. We have to be international leader. Our market is a flat. Right now, we are living in open market. If we are compete uh, uh, in open market, we have to think about we will stay on the market if we are one of the, the main leader in, in this industry. And right now, what we are doing is just to be one day, what is our dream? Our dream to be Rothschild. Why is Rothschild? Rothschild is the same, uh, same story. Rothschild was all the time in problem. He was all the time second. The first small winery, they didn't accept Ro Rothschild because the, the, it was a, some, uh, some philosophy that uh, uh, big wineries cannot build excellent quality. Today, Rothschild is uh, one of the best company in production of wine. And uh, when we are looking uh, who is our uh, leader and who is our idol, it's a Rothschild, and we like to compete. Rothschild is uh, almost the same size. We are, we are selling uh, three times less. But he is uh, sometimes uh, something like uh, 10 times uh, uh, bigger in value. Because average price, what we are reaching right now, it's uh, less than two euro, and Rothschild price is a 6.6 .6 euro. It's never a big story, you know, part of what we were doing, you know, building product. Yes, we built product, we said uh, today product building quality and building product is past time. We cannot negotiate in quality. Quality, total quality management passed in the 80s, you know, we, no discussion, not compromise in, in quality. The second was building product and building brand. We have excellent brand, you know, building new brand on the market. And for the first time, we are launching Terroir. Terroir is uh, specific for France. And what means Terroir? Terroir is uh, some kind of new word from France, coming from France. And Terroir is uh, it's not trans uh, you cannot uh, translate on any language because it's uh, wind, soil, sun, uh, varieties. And this is everything in Terroir. In Terroir, we uh, build Terroir for the first time. But to build Terroir, you have to be honest. You have to build ethics in this area. It's not cheating. You know, this is a short story about cheating and uh, sending on the market and afterwards, you know, uh -huh, sorry, I did mistake. This is a uh, huge obligation, huge commitment for, for everybody who is working in, uh, in any industry. Tomorrow you will lead uh, some part in some part, but keep in mind, today it's very foggy in the region. It's not uh, so, many, um, uh, so many honest businesses. You can find everybody trying to, to find short ways. And uh, this short way is uh, tax evasion, uh, not be honest between partners, etc., etc. I was, fortunately, I was working in German industry, in brewery. And uh, the first stage that I was learning was uh, supplier to buyer. You know, in that time, we had uh, 
malt plant, building, you know, produ production of malt. And we had huge laboratory for, uh, for checking uh, barley. It was equipment for checking barley. And when I went in Germany, the brewery that was receiving malt, they didn't have, they didn't do it any checking. And I asked them, you don't have equipment for, for checking barley and malt? They said, no. But, you know, it's a problem. Maybe is something wrong. No, 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 no. Supplier is checking. Then he will, you know, cheating. Only once we are working 400 years. That means that uh, we have to work on that. We are building new stage in, uh, in uh, our countries. And keep in mind, you are the first. We are using opportunities. There's so many opportunities in this country. Because if you are looking, uh -huh, we are desperate. It's not desperate. You know, we have small consumption of wine. We have small consumption of beer. We have small consumption of everything. Building something and looking in future, what is expectation? What kind of relation? Sasha was talking about psycho uh, psychology, about uh, expecting election, next election is the psychological status. What is going on? Leadership in the country. You are the new leadership in the country. What we were talking about all the time. You know, and what we need in, in the country is a new leadership. New leadership. Because my generation and my people, if I was thinking that I have to change myself, most of our friends in politics, they didn't change themselves. You know, the style and everything that is going on is a style from yesterday. Open, transparent way, uh, making... Uh, 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 giving respect uh, uh, and stuck um, give this the, the, the respect and uh, and what? no 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah, missing the word you know trust trust, trust. <laughs> you know we are we are we are yeah <laughs> Sasha knows you know no trust, no respect in the country, no country, no organization. In family is the same. You know, believeness is, a, we need believeness in, in between ourselves because in small country we have to uh, just get together. But unfortunately, is a, still we are asking for somebody. You are asking here in Bulgaria, we are asking in Macedonia, we are asking for the region, no regional strong leadership and Will take time, but anyway, uh, today we were talking with uh, uh, your friends here. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what I'm looking, Bertrand Russell, you know, two things: intellectual and ethics. You know, for you, for you promoting, and uh, what is the problem with us? We don't have individual activities, you know, entrepreneurial spirit is uh, on, on, on the low level. Most of you, you are asking for the company. Yes, company is fine, excellent. Company like uh, Tikvesh, like Pivara, like Coca-Cola is excellent to take experience because they have system. Especially accounting, finance, is excellent system. But, you know, you have much more opportunities to be uh, independent and uh, building small companies uh, in, 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 uh, in, in the region is uh, on the low level. This is a this is a problem. And, you know, today we, we are talking about for entrepreneurs, and I will I will recommend look at entrepreneurs, uh, look at his survey, all of these countries, especially Russia, because Russia is uh, is a big but. Uh, is transferring to everybody, to Bulgaria, to us. You know, most of the young people, they are staying on the bus station and waiting for the bus. You know, you know the story about who moved my cheese. My cheese is part. It's not cheese here. You have to find another cheese. And this is the main, you know, today, who will, who will give me opportunity to, 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 
where I am going to be employed. Okay. But anyway, just to, to conclude, you know, uh, to make a changes in, 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 in your life, to, you have to have courage. To run the company, if you, if you are building company, new company, or somewhere you are managing the company, you have to have desire and passion. Uh, usually I am asking from, from young people, if you are working for them, um, I am buying you for money, this is no future, not for you, not for me. Uh, you will work like a typical multinational manager in three years. And multinational manager for three years, they are working like this. First, second, third year. Because in third year, they will disappear. They are changing company, they are going to another company, etc. Most of the company, what we expect in here, in, in the region, they are middle size of the company, and they need management for a long period, 10 to 20 years. Because companies are like a family. Take care about everyone, know everything. You know, when we, we, we open McDonald's, and we give opportunity to everybody from the company to employ their son or daughters in McDonald's. Giving chance. You know, that was supporting. Excellent opportunity for young people to, to learn standard. Still now, in Macedonia, we don't have profit in McDonald's. We have crazy business and we invest a lot of money, we are keeping McDonald's, but this is opportunity. This is our, uh, our uh, some kind of obligation, corporate citizenship. Thank you, Sasha Stoich. I should have known better when he said I'm going to conclude. <laughs> you know, I should have. <laughs> okay, uh, before you get the chance to ask your questions, which I'm sure that you will, Seto, uh, you have a full room of this internet generation. They are going to buy, and they are actually buying wine, I don't know whether they, they are doing that, but through the eBay. You know, they have a totally distorted concept of privacy, and wine is a private thing. Yeah. So where do you see the future of wine with vision? Uh, yeah. Bar Bertrand Russell <laughs> story. <laughs> you know, Bertrand Russell story, I will Are repeat the better. Usually, usually I give a lecture to, to my son on 50 years and giving Bertrand Russell. Bertrand Russell was one uh, old guy, very known philosoph philosopher from, uh, for uh, 20 years. He is not Englishman, he is from Welsh. Sorry about that. I didn't know British. so far. Huh? British. British, British, sorry, British. And he was asked uh, two questions, you know, uh, one question, you know, what you will recommend to young generation uh, for the future? And uh, if uh, we open this, uh, this answer in thousand years, it will be valuable. And he said, uh, it's a, one is an intellectual, the, the second is ethics. Intellectual is, uh, intellectual things is, uh, uh, never you are studying, you are philosophing, you are, you are, you are growing, but keep in mind, everything what you are doing, making decision, you are doing by facts. This is most important, you know, never, never, uh, it's, not related with you, you're wishing something, you desire something, but you have to decide the facts. And second was uh, ethics. We are living in, uh, uh, in a cooperative world all together. We start to be a flat market, we are living together, we are living in wider, uh, in, in, in the world. We have to understand each other and, and to accept differences between us to accept uh, even uh, we have people who is not thinking the same way like we, we are thinking. Uh, and he recommend it's better to live together instead of dying together. Because Russell was living uh, uh, between many, many wars. He passed first war, second war, many Balkan war, and many things. He was born in 
1870s, he died in uh, 1970s, almost 100 years, 98 year he was old. And what is recommendation from me to them? This is the same. Questions? Yes, please. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, you mentioned earlier that you had to downsize. You had around 900 employees and you downsized to around 400. 420. Yeah. How did you manage to negotiate with people? Can you just give an example? Yeah. Um, the first stage was uh, drivers, and I told you this is uh, drivers is uh, uh, here in Bulgaria and uh, in, uh, in socialist uh, in socialist country is uh, the most dangerous uh, group. You know, they are living along, abandoned in uh, the, the trucks. You know, they they are different style, different type, and negotiation. We start negotiating group by group. Uh, we, you have to know the tricks and negotiation with a group of people. If you have strike tomorrow, uh, if they are staying, you have to put them to, to sit. If they sit and start negotiating, you will succeed. If they are staying, it is not possible to, to, to negotiate, you know, outside of the door. The second is, uh, what is the big group? If it's a group more than 30, 40 people, 50 people, all the time is uh, some uh, some demagogue, some defeatist inside. It's a problem that even you are giving the uh, the excellent uh, uh, condition they cannot accept. Somebody is all the time is finding something, and we have this this situation. The first stage was uh, 20 people. They were intercity trucks, and uh, they said, and. Uh, I didn't want to negotiate. I, I, I was expecting a negative uh, reaction, and uh, they came to me and they said they didn't accept. Okay. Next day we went together. I went to them and I said, "What is the reason?" And they said, uh, uh, "Direction from Skopje to uh, Bosilegrad. Bosilegrad is uh, Serbia on uh, the border with Bulgaria." Bosilegrad. I said, "Okay." Cancel Bosilegrad, forget Bosilegrad, nobody is going to Bosilegrad. Do we have some other question? No question. So we sign the contract and finish. Because, you know, negotiation is, uh, uh, you have to learn. You are learning uh, negotiation. It's a style, what you expect, what they are thinking, etc., etc. You have to know people and reaction. And if you are in, in, in company, you have to know, you know. Uh, if you are managing people, you have to be, you know, highly profile psychologue. I have to add that it was a very revolutionary move what they did in Tivali those days. You know, there is a saying that from four wheels drive of the of the track or of the car, the vehicle, one will always always drive for a driver. So whatever controls you do, whatever checkings and so on and so forth, they will always cheat you. So what they decided is instead of cheating them, they said, okay, trucks are from today on, they're yours. So you steal from yourself. And it was a change of a total culture and economic model, by the way. So they immediately became responsible for how fast they drive, how much they spend petrol, uh, how many times they change tires, how many defects they have. And it was a revolution in a very key level of a distribution of a product. So that was a shock in Macedonia because, as you can imagine, all other companies, not only beer companies, but every, everybody else, start thinking that it's much more expensive to keep trucks and drivers on salary than to lease them everything, be, make them actually responsible for their business, and just take them from then on, start negotiating the price of the service. And that was a, it, it looks very, like a simple, don't forget, drivers are usually the most strongest trade unions in the world. You probably don't know who Hoffa is. No, but you know who Hoffa is. You know that mafias are usually connected with the drivers' unions, trade unions, because of this culture of connections and so on and so forth. So that was not an easy move at all. Negotiation with drivers, top problematic negotiation theories. If, if you know transportation company, take some example about transportation company. Usually in the past time, right now it's a different. 
Right now I realize by my driver that uh, uh, the, the uh, tires in, uh, in the store, they are not keeping more than uh, 15 days. Around 15 days, 20 days. And you are asking for, for some tires, they are, you know, making demand that the tire is coming. In that time, you know, it was a different time, you know, you know socialist time, and we, we were keeping everything in stock. You have 150 or 130 trucks, you know, just imagine uh, some truck is going out, it's not uh, used because you don't have tires. And you have different trucks, different tires, everything is in stock, you know, keeping. Money in stock, cash flow low. Spare parts, you know, uh, some light. And when we collect everything, it was enormous amount of, uh, of everything, just get rid of that money. You have a typical transportation company inside of production of beer. And we went to system uh, outsourcing right now, Coca-Cola and others, they're they, they are using this, this method outsourcing. But keep in mind, we were living in different systems. Some of my colleagues, they went to prison because they, they destroyed, we were still in socialism and somebody, uh, went to accusing them and sued them that they destroyed. We have uh, social ownership. We didn't have state ownership. We have social ownership, destroying social ownership. Any other questions? Yes, please. Uh, you mentioned that you like to improve the quality of the business and to offer them opportunities. So what skill are you looking for in the candidates that are coming in your company for employment? Uh, Zoran will answer to your question because Zoran is usually is, uh, is working recruitment and uh, recently he said Tikvish is uh, um, most kako, kako reche, most favorable desirable, uh, desirable uh, em, 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 employer in the country. What kind of skills do you ask from, from young people? From young people, just to be courage and uh, to be creative. To, to have a, usually we said to have a guts. Yeah. Employment is very, very problematic. Uh, uh, you know, usually I, when I did mistake, I, I did with people. Because afterwards, in, uh, in, uh, uh, I realized, read it some crazy book for Harvard. They, they said it's very difficult to understand motivator than manipulator. You know, it's, you know, it's almost it's not chance to, to, to realize who is a manipulator, who is a motivator. This is like a mirror and a, a face in, in, in the mirror. And when I mistake with people, I said if Harvard said that it's easy to make this mistake, yeah, I, I, I was doing. I'm not sure absolutely what kind of people. I don't like uh, follower. I like uh, leaders. Leaders by example. I was leading company by example, you know. Even uh, uh, it was uh, one song in, uh, in, uh, in that time, rock group. Uh, it was an uh, avant-garde rock group. Right now this guy is uh, sitting in Belgrade. He is a creative guy. Shaper, he was uh, in this uh, this group, and uh, Sergeant Shaper is Dolly, 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 but he's running right Mekan Eriksson for, for Serbia and for, for the region, and they they had uh, 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 many songs uh, linked with Russian uh, melodies, and one was uh, Chelich na Jutra, still morning, still morning, and for me when I was Listen, still morning, I was running in, uh, in, in the company before 5 o'clock in the morning. That was my duty, and I accept, you know. Recently, I was going uh, uh, catching plane uh, on the airport, and we have very nice time for flying, you know. Ljubljana, Zagreb, it's early in the morning, Ljubljana, 4 and 30. 
um, I don't know, Zagreb, 5 o'clock, Belgrade, 6 o'clock. Bakery flies. Yeah, That's bakery cool. flies. This is milky flies. Yeah. We went with some American lady. She was, uh, uh, she was working in which school, I don't know. And we met on, on the airport. And uh, she started, you know, Sveto is too early, this is crazy, 430. I faced myself. I said, it was uh, my wife. I was 4.30, awake myself, going to 5 o'clock in the morning, coming late. It was, you know, it was normal. Uh, my son was coming back in 5 o'clock in the morning from somewhere. <laughs> The lady there, yes, please. Uh, the wine industry has relatively low barriers to entry, which means that you may be constantly under the pressure of your entrance. Uh, do you feel this pressure and how do you cope with it? I mean, how do you differentiate your product? Is it through quality? Is it through brand image? Where do you invest more? The, uh, you know, you have, to, you have to invest everywhere. First of all, uh, we try to prove our uh, Consumer, we are the best in, uh, and we take care about quality. No mistake in this area. I told you uh, the, the, the for us, is a pastime, it is a total quality management. What means that uh, everything that we are producing in Tikvash is uh, even from, uh, uh, from bottom line, table wine, because in winery, you have to know, you know, it's not possible to, to, to produce everything in, in uh, top quality. Because, you know, it's a technology, I don't like to, to uh, take your time to explain you that uh, just only some part is going in uh, the, the, the top quality and the second and third part is going in different areas. But even in third area, you have value for money. This is the main, you know, just to trust, we are trusty company and we take care about this problem. The secondly is... Uh, 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 we change style, you know. Uh, I, I went in, uh, in uh, before nine, before nineties. We were the, the main advertiser in uh, in the region. We were building something different in German. Uh, in uh, German production of beer, they lost battle because German they were uh, producing traditional beer. Right now, if you are looking on the map of uh, beer uh, producer. Between 10, the mega plant and mega uh, breweries, it's not existing, no, none is a German brewer. Something like 30% uh, of the German market is uh, a part of multinational. And uh, from that time, you know, I know, modern marketing and modern, modern advertising, building brand, and we have few brands in different categories, you know, we, we built one brand in the middle sector, Alexandria. Alexandria was a uh, uh, brand existing in, in Tikvash, but uh, it was uh, in low segment. We upgrade this, uh, this brand, and right now in the upper segment is the best value for money in the top, in quality, quality segment. But we are trying to convince you in different ways. I told you with problems, and the main problem is headache and uh, everything. What we did it when uh, I was asking the main enologists in, in finally right now we have uh, uh, two uh, two enologists from Slovenia, from the Institute uh, from Slovenia. We have uh, three enologists from France. One is situated in in, in Tikvash and. Uh, uh, two of them, they are coming uh, frequently in uh, two, three months. And the guy who is working with us is the best enolog uh, in the world. He's, uh, it's um, a French, uh, French guy. Yes, <laughs> yeah. he has a problem, obesity. But he is a 220 kilo, but he's the best guy. He is the best guy in, uh, in making <laughs> right? You know, communicate with us. You will see, it's uh, young people like Dimitar and others. And uh, next, uh, next stage, because we are starting cooperating with each other, you will come 
in, in, in Skopje or Kavalarci to see this, this case in place and to see people. You know, they are most, of, most of them, they are almost your generation. Before the last question, do we have the last question? Yes, here. I have one simple question for this one. What is the one single issue that you would say that you learned from Coca-Cola partnership? What is the strongest lesson, the strongest point? That, you know, because when we say Coca-Cola, it's the brand that that's the definite industry. And, so on and, so on. and you have the longest history of Coca-Cola. Or maybe you taught them something. I don't know. <laughs> uh, what I learned, that the main what we, we learned was a system in, uh, in uh, and, uh, standard in finance. In finance? In finance. Because, uh, you know, in production, uh, we had... Uh, a better school from uh, from uh, Germany in the production of beer. We had better standard in production of beer than Coca-Cola at that time. Because, you know, uh, the, the technology and everything in the uh, uh, brew industry was uh, on the higher level. And Coca-Cola, like a multinational player and a uh, uh, multinational player, they, they didn't like to go in, in some risk. And they, they uh, never they are uh, using news on, on, on uh, equipment uh, very fast. They were waiting uh, three years, five years, and afterwards they were using. Uh, but in, in finance, in standard, in uh, reporting, in controlling system, in uh, um, um, uh, customer relationship, etc. Coca-Cola is uh, marketing, especially marketing. Coca-Cola is... Uh, the, 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 the biggest and, uh, and human resource king of the world. Yes, human please. Human Last human question. Uh, Mr. Yanisky, can you please elaborate more on the term customer? What means customer for you? Customer is my boss, some Americans say. <laughs> this is true. You know, if uh, my customer uh, change uh, me, we are losing the market. You know? And what I'm trying to, uh, to teach uh, uh, young people you know, in communication. Um, I spent my life communicating with uh, with customers, and usually I, I didn't say that uh, I don't have time for customer, not answering to customer, not having time for customer. And uh, we 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 had in a brewery and right now in Tikvash 365 days for customer. Yeah, all the time, right. What we are different, and you ask me about uh, what we are different than anybody else. Uh, for closest market, uh, where we are in Serbia and uh, Macedonia and Bosnia, we have uh, we try to have excellent services. You know, checking your depot, checking your product, uh, uh, the old product, changing the product. And so on. Nobody is working in uh, in this area. Right? How to improve our relationship and how to improve that uh, we are better than and uh, different than others. You know, we, we take care to make money by our product. And this is a different than others, you know. When you let the product and keeping to be sell and not not uh, take care about the product is uh, it's a uh, it's a uh, you know a cut link between you and the, the, the customer. And we try all the time to keep our customer in a close relationship, information, uh, inviting him for in the environment, giving information. Um, what we are doing, education for uh, waiters. Who is doing education for waiters? Some wealthy company, and so on. education to understand the product. You know, right now in Macedonia, they have a knowledge, no oxidized why? Because we, 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 we are producing one of the rare, we decide, it's a country like New Zealand, Austria, or uh, in Italy, northern part of Italy, they are producing a uh, hyper reduction product of, uh, of wine. And this is a new stage, new technology. Uh, uh, modern wineries, they are keeping for tradition, but they, they, they rather accept the news from the market and technology. And heat production is uh, to protect the wine, uh, white wine with 
dissolve oxygen in, in, in wine. Uh, when you have uh, dissolve oxygen in, in white wine, in short period, white wine is losing uh, uh, freshness. And what we are asking in white wine is a freshness, you know, smell. Pure, today we were talking about for, for English explanation about checking the, the product. Smell, it's good or not. You can not try to find rose or cherry or pia or something else, but it smells good or not. The second is a clear or not, foggy. And third, when you are opening mouth, uh, take a glass and swallow the, 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 the thing is acceptable for you or not acceptable. This is the, this is the main uh, three stages of uh, drinking wine. And we try to build wine for you, for young generation. This is, uh, 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 you know, usually in a consumer goods product is uh, uh, to give you something what you, uh, what you are dreaming, what you intend to have, but you don't know to explain. How to explain, I, I like to, to drink this type of wine. We try to build wine, what is acceptable for young people. In, uh, in uh, beer industry, German, they were at, uh, keeping tradition and they were still they are producing very uh, bitter wine. ABC, it's a measurement in, in beer, it's a 40, 42, etc. etc. Heineken and Amstel, they went to 17 uh, these uh, units of uh, bitterness in, 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 in beer. Why? Because you don't like bitterness. If you are nobody from you, new generation, we are uh, new generation, you cannot not accept some, some strong, very heavy, very uh, bitter, bitter uh, uh, beer. It's a similar situation with, uh, with, uh, with wine. And we try just to tranquilize, to moderate, not very strong, easy drinkable. And this is the main. Yeah, you check it, you check it. This white yeah. note, Mr. So President, let me introduce Mr. Janeski on behalf of the uh, university for his. I think that this is the beginning of a wonderful friendship. Yeah. <laughs> This program is brought to you by AUBG Talks. For more, please visit us at aubg.bg/talks.